Home. It's a simple word, yet it has so much meaning in a, one person's life. It can unite people, but also divide people. Searched up on Webster's Dictionary, I was overloaded with a multitude of different responses, ranging from one's place of residence, house, and a place of origin. For most people, I feel like that the place of origin one and one's place of residence may fit them, as many people have lived in one place their entire life. However, for 230 million kids, that's not the case. These 230 million kids are called Third Culture Kids, or TCKs for short. TCKs was a term created by an American sociologist in the 1950s by the name of Ruth Usim. She used to describe kids whose parents moved abroad for a variety of reasons, whether it was for business, governmental, or pleasure. Now, what makes these kids different from other kids? Okay, so let's put it like this. This is Circle Man. So the, he lives in Circle Land, okay? So it's basically its own country. So a Circle Land is its own li language, traditions, culture. Yeah, it's its own country. So let's say um, when Circle Man's quite young, he moves to somewhere else. Let's say Square Land. Now Square Land is filled with square people. This is a square person. They have their own culture as well, as long as their own language, and it's a different country, basically. So let's say Circle Man lives in Square Land for about, I don't know, let's say 10 years. He's basically adopted Square Land's culture, tradition, and language, since he doesn't really remember Circle Land. See, he's become, well, he acts like a square, basically. But he isn't truly a square. See, the reason why is because he looks like a circle, and he never will not look like a circle unless he gets plastic surgery or something. See, if he's so, if if he looks, if you look at here, if you look at this picture right here, you can see how he sticks out compared to all the squares. He sticks out like a sore thumb. Thumb, but if he doesn't fit in here, does he fit in back in Circle Land? Well, no. Let's say if he went back to Circle Land. See, he may look like them, and from afar, he may look exactly like them and fit in, but he doesn't actually really fit in, because if you look closer and get to know him and get to talk to him, first of all, he won't understand you, because Circle Land has its own language, and he doesn't know it. He only knows the square language. He also only knows the square traditions, and basically, he acts like a square. He's not truly a circle, but he's also not truly a square. So what is he? Where is his home? Well, the thing is that he's a hybrid, okay? Let's say he's a triangle now, a, I don't know, in the middle. He has no home. And because of this lack of a home is what caused, caused third culture kids to struggle with their identity. See, me being a third culture kid myself, I, my mother was born in Hong Kong and lived there for most of her life. And my dad was born in the Philippines. And However, I was born in, the Connecticut, in Connecticut, USA, but didn't live there for very long as I moved to Miami, Florida at quite a young age. I once again didn't live there for very long and then moved to Tokyo, Japan, where I lived the majority of my life. Until then, a couple months ago, where I finally moved here to Naperville, Illinois. I have a US citizenship and passport. However, bizarrely, I also have an Australian citizenship and passport for some reason because of my dad who moved to Australia when he was younger. See, it's complicated. I'm not sure where I truly am from. And when someone asks me, where are you from? I have the same answer. It's complicated. And even in my special situation, in Japan, I was surrounded by kids just like me. Kids who were mixed ethnically, who moved countless different places kids who were just like me. In fact, my school was almost filled with kids like this. See, my school was called an international school, and these schools were filled with kids who, children of governmental wor government workers, businessmen who had to travel around for different reasons, and uh, rich people who also had to travel but for pleasure. But the thing that this provided was a bubble. Sort of, it was a bubble of it's complicated. Since everyone had the same background, no one had to question it. We all had a mutual understanding of it. We didn't have to ask any questions because we all just assumed this was normal. However, once I moved out of this bubble and this bubble popped, I moved to Naperville, Illinois. 
And it was on the way there that I realized that everyone here most likely lived their entire lives here. This was their home. But where was my home? Was it Tokyo, Japan? But I only had lived there, for, I've lived there my majority for my life, but I don't have a citizenship or passport or really anything to prove it. Was it Hong Kong or the Philippines? I couldn't say that because I've never actually lived there. And how about the US? I have a citizenship passport, I was born here. But once again, I don't really remember anything here. Sure, I'm here now, but I don't remember much. How about Australia? Oh, how about Australia? Well, it's quite obvious. I don't have an accent and also I've never lived there. So it took me a long, I thought about this for quite a long time and I slowly realized I don't fit any of the qualities to be from one place. Sure, I have a multitude of different places where I fit more than one category, as in the US where I have a citizenship and I was born here and I speak English. But for me, it's not enough because I haven't really lived here for very long. So is it I have no home or do I have multiple? I found it to be the latter actually. So why is it that I have multiple homes? Well, let's bring it back to the Circle Man, who's now a triangle. Um, so Circle Man has two homes, at least in my eyes. See, he's inherited two things from different places. See, from Circle Land, he's inherited his original shape. And from Square Land, he's inherited his, uh, his behavior, his traditions, his culture, his language, everything uh, internally. But he still looks like a circle. See, he's inherited two different things from two different places. And it's because of this, this is why I think this is why he has two homes. Bringing it back to me, I have inherited many things from different places. From the Hong Kong and Philippines, I've inherited my looks. See, but from Japan, I've inherited the language, the culture, and many life experiences. From, from America, I've inherited uh, birth, my... Uh, where I was born, I've inherited a uh, passport and a citizenship, and also the language I'm speaking right now. And from Australia, I've inherited uh, a citizenship and passport. Still no accent though. But, that's, but going back to the definition of home, I think I've finally found a definition that fits my description. Home, the places that shape you to who you are today. Thank you.